it was based on religious beliefs that these attacks on 9-11 even happened. They believe they are following mandates from God to destroy infidels, as they call them. Religion divides us. That is why, frankly, I'm against religion. Totally. I am not against God. I am a firm believer in God. But I think God never intended for us to separate this way. And I think one of the greatest lessons for us to learn today on 9-11 is that we are all one. If we believe that, 9-11 would never have happened. And so on this day, I think it is critical that we reflect on what is common amongst us as human beings. That we reflect on how we can build harmony. That we reflect on how we can help each other. I think that tragedies happen to challenge us as human beings to rise to a different, to a higher level as far as reaching out to each other. Tragedies challenge and provoke us to do things we would never have done otherwise. Think about the people who've donated money, who've donated resources, the people who've prayed because of what happened at 9-11. Similarly, think about Katrina, the people who opened up their homes to strangers who would never have considered doing such a thing had it not been for such a tragedy. Tragedies can teach us lessons, can teach us and challenge us and provoke us to rise to a higher level closer to God. And that is the opportunity we have on this day to channel our energies, to channel our thoughts, to channel our power into ways that can unite us as people, as human beings. And so, on this day, when hearings in Congress will continue for a second day about what's going on in Iraq, we can think about how really valuable is this war. How really sensible is it that we will be able to go and bomb these people and shoot these people in Iraq and make them behave? How really logical is that? People who already hate us, how are they going to hate us less because we've killed their, their wives and their children and their brothers and sisters? How really sensible is that thought? What we really need to do is find a way to connect with these people. The whole thing that's going on in Iraq now is people separated. The Sunnis, the Shia. They want to carve out their own little slice. And what's happening? War. People are dying over it. It's not the solution, people. What the solution is is finding those things that unite us and building on that. That is the opportunity that 9-11 provides us and I hope and pray that all of us can really reflect on that and really act affirmatively to make the human race what it really should be, to rise to the level it really should be at. The Iraq War is an example of what happens when we feel, when one group feels their way is better than the other groups. We're all one people. And until we figure that out, people will continue to die. Because peace can never be found at the end of a gun. You might make people afraid of you, you might make people 
uh, submit to you. But eventually, those people will rise up. Peace can never come at the end of a gun. The solution to Iraq will have nothing to do with any guns, bombs, or tanks. It will have to do with people who stand up and say, I will not fight you anymore. And so I ask that all of us will reflect on that and use this day to think how we can make this planet Earth a little bit better. I think that's why we're all here, to make the planet Earth better when we leave here than it was when we got here. Thanks for watching and uh, I look forward to talking to you folks again.